All right, here's question 33. It says a rectangular rug is 24 feet long and 10 feet wide. So we have this rug. It's a rectangle. And it's 24 feet long, 10 feet wide. A rhombus design is formed inside the rug. Now what is a rhombus? A rhombus is, is just basically all sides have got to be the same length. So a rhombus is formed inside the rug by joining the midpoints of each side of the rectangle. So here's the midpoint of that side, here's the midpoint of that side, here's the midpoint of 24, midpoint down here of 24. So it's doing this number. Now remember, rhombus, all these sides are going to be exactly the same. When we cut this, this 24 got cut, this leg was 12, this 10 got cut, 5. So it's 12 by 5 right here, right triangle. To find this length, which is what it's going to end up asking, what is the length of each side of the rhombus, notice you have a right triangle with one leg 12. So here's a blown up picture. Here's a right angle. This is 12. This is 5. We're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. We're going to have 12 squared plus 5 squared equals that hypotenuse there, c squared. When we work it out, we're going to see those add up to 169 and the square root of 169 is c. So the answer is 13 is that length. These other options don't even make sense. If you look at it, I could have done the problem without even thinking about it. Because said, what is the length of each side of the rhombus? Well, if this is 24, is there any way that little side right there could be 26? No. 169, not a chance. They were hoping you forgot to take the square root. 240, psh, that's the area of that rectangle, 24 by 10. So 33, choice A, 13 feet, using the Pythagorean theorem whenever we see that right triangle.